Hey folks, I'm heading back down to the water today. It's going to be interesting because uh, it's not as windy as a couple days ago and I do have some new stuff to share with you guys. I thought it'd be interesting to show you again, uh, take another beach walk and show you guys a calmer day and just how it changes so much. It's so different. Uh, I'll flip this around so you can see there it's clearly not as wavy and we've got a seagull flying by so definitely gorgeous and I'll uh, also walk the other direction give you guys a little different view so uh, okay I mentioned in my last video that Sanjay Gupta had brought up it was in the spring and he brought up the fact online he mentioned that he was taking omega-3 and two or three other supplements at the time. And then he came on television and the same Alzheimer's study, he did not bring up the supplement aspect, the stuff that he's taking uh, as a supplement, namely omega-3 at the time, that was a big one. But I believe B12 was one of them. Today, just a couple days after I post my video, Today he comes out on CNN and brings up, I think it was seven different supplements that he's taking uh, and literally brought up longevity and how he believes that the science, that the study of these different uh, longevity genes, these proteins that we can take and use or activate in our bodies. Now he doesn't come out and say sirtuins, but it sure sounded like he was going down that path. I'll show you the water side a little bit. And uh, lo and behold, there he was on television and my parents are looking at me and they're saying, this sounds like you. <laughs> and he is coming down a path our direction. There's no question about it. And I wonder what's generating it. I wonder where it's coming from. I wanna believe it's just self-discovery and maybe he's feeling better taking some of these supplements. now. The whole list I don't have right in front of me. I'm gonna to try to find it because this was on live television. And I looked it up and I didn't see it immediately posted on CNN or anywhere, the whole list. But the ones that I saw that jumped out at me were multivitamin. Okay, we, you know, many of us take that. As you guys know, I take that. Uh, and then there was uh, omega-3. Well, he's mentioned that before, great. Then there was CoQ10, which I just started taking a few months ago when Do Not Age started offering it. Uh, found that really fascinating that he brought that one up. And uh, then he mentioned vitamin D. And of course, magnesium's kind of a no-brainer if you're taking vitamin D. And I even talked to somebody on the plane ride who had just started taking vitamin D3 and K2. So I'm just seeing firsthand a lot of movement in the general public and it's reflected uh, slowly now in the media. And it's interesting that it's Sanjay Gupta, like right here, like he's leading the charge. But I do think that there will be some ripple effect. I think that it, it'll kind of make it okay to talk about more and more. Not that people aren't talking about vitamins. I even think he listed them as vitamins, but, re but then he also used the term supplements. Now, my wish list, I wished he would have brought this up, which he did. So this is a big, this is a step. This is a step forward from where he was in the spring, where they didn't broadcast that aspect of what he was bringing up, that part of it, right? The fact that it wasn't, it was a study based on eating healthier, but he didn't get into the supplements. And he, they talked about how lifestyle changes in that special, by the way, were helping these patients more than the drugs were like the drugs were showing were more and more ineffective compared to lifestyle changes. And I'm, I'm sitting here just waiting for him to say yes, and these are some of the supplements that they were giving them, but he didn't go there yet. I think this is the tip of the iceberg, I really do. And what I hope is that it won't stop there. That like for me, okay, it's great. You're bringing up dietary supplements, but what about diet, right? It, for me, it was a natural step and it's something that I've talked about ad nauseum on this channel which is please you know try some supplements good for you i love nmn but i take about 15 other things but i'm supplementing the diet right if you don't change the diet i, I don't know what the supplements are necessarily going to do for you in and of themselves like add them to the diet 
either just change the diet or if you do start supplementing, try to find the foods that those supplements exist in and change those. Just my advice from my own experience, just how much better I feel eating healthier. And then what can you, you know, take out? Like if you're, if you can't immediately change to a healthier diet, what can you remove that's unhealthy? You know, first of all, a caloric restriction window, which I've talked about many times, but I have to say, you know, why is it Sanjay Gupta going down this path? Well, obviously he's taking some baby steps or he, he's not there with his own self-discovery yet. But if you could take out those late night meals, your body can sleep better. And I personally believe you don't need breakfast right away in the morning. You can wait a little while, give your, give your body a more of a break, your digestive system a longer break and then cut out the sugar and reduce the alcohol if you don't cut it out completely. Both of them need to be drastically reduced by most people. And so it's, it's addition by subtraction. It's taking out the bad, adding more good, and then supplementing because I don't believe, I personally don't believe, it's, it's my opinion, but many other people have said the same thing, that our food supply alone doesn't include enough nutrition for a plethora of reasons. And so supplementing a healthy diet with some healthy supplements that have shown a lot of promise, I think it's a win-win. Now we get to exercise. And again, Sanjay Gupta didn't go down that path, but we know he exercises, he's talked about it before. I wish he would have brought that up in the context of his discussion, even though he probably had limited time today. It was a short blurb within a program that was on. I don't even remember, it was a morning program. I don't even remember who he was talking to specifically, but you know, it all happened so fast. And uh, then my folks are saying, hey, 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 look, listen to this, turn this up. You should record this on you know, I didn't grab my phone and record the television, but maybe some of you saw it. If you saw it, mention it in the comments. It, it, it jumped out there in the context of longevity. This context wasn't even about the Alzheimer's study. He brought up the study, you know, he did mention it, but this was about, then he, in this discussion, he was talking about specifically longevity and that he believed people were more and more likely to live beyond or to 100. So we're literally talking about living longer by living healthier. And he made that connection. Where I'd like to see him go is the rest of the story. Now, I wanna share with you a comment I'm staying, you know, with family. And one of my close family members said to me, wow, they're, they're looking at me taking my supplements and doing my routines. And they're like, this is a full-time job. That was comment number one that jumped out at me. The second one was, I shared my thought process, my thinking, my reaction to what Sanjay Gupta was saying. And that I felt, wow, it's great to take some supplements, but what about the rest of it? What about... Uh, the lifestyle changes and they said to me that's a lot to ask that's a lot to ask and so I said well yeah that's that's a great point too well what's on the other side of that ask like you want to get your life back I'm saying you help you yeah. you've turned 50 you no longer feel like yourself you turn 60 you no longer feel like yourself you know, you're feeling that decline so what I'm saying is you want to get it back there is a price it can be done I'm living proof of that, and many people you know, that watch this channel are proof of that. But if you want to do that, you know, there, there is a price involved to pay. Somebody walking right by me there. And uh, not, not real busy down here, by the way, but you could swim today easily again. It's gorgeous, it's about 70 degrees, the water temperature is still quite nice. So I'm tempted to go in, probably before I fly home in, a, in three days, I'll probably jump in the water a couple times, but we'll see. So yes, is it a price to pay? It certainly is. Is it worth it? You know, do you want to feel like yourself? I don't feel like I'm working that hard. It has become a habit. It has become a new habit. Take my supplements a few times a day, you know, put, get some yogurt when I come home, buy some yogurt, I put, you know, the quercetin, the fisetin, some of the veritrol in the yogurt, mix it up. I'm so used to doing it that no, it doesn't feel like work. Then, my close relative brought up another point. Well, 
older people are taking all kinds of pills as it is already. Now, somebody else mentioned this. You know, I would say, when I say somebody else, a lot of people have mentioned this. And it's something that we haven't talked about here, or I haven't spoken about here, which is you're an aging adult. Chances are you already have a pill box. You're already taking a bunch of meds. Why don't you try some supplements? Why don't you try some NMN specifically, but maybe some other things? My feeling, my recommendation, not a medical advice by any stretch of the imagination. You guys know this is something that I share, but it's an outlook that I could see people addressing. Like saying, well, you know, I'm taking all these other things. Maybe why don't I take some healthy stuff too? Like you're going to take all these medicines. Why don't you throw in some vitamins with it? You know, see how that goes for you. And maybe, just maybe, and what a lot of people here have reported, they end up getting their meds reduced by their doctor because suddenly their blood work comes back and they're no longer requiring as much medicine. Could, could be blood thinners, could be statins, which I've had doctors literally tell me that they've become Richard Delaney in Boston, heart surgeon. He's prescribing way less statins since he started telling people to take NMN. First thing he does when they come in with their symptoms, he has their NAD levels checked. And, you know, he said he gives them better men. He's a functional medical doctor now, so he can do that. But he's also a medical doctor and a heart surgeon. And instead of defaulting to statins every time, because it has drawbacks, there are side effects, he's now avoiding completely by telling people to try NMN. But I think it's important for me often here because I am such an advocate for NMN and because I am trying to protect it to bring up the other things as often as possible because NMN opened the door for me to do those, to make those other changes and to reduce sugar, to eat healthy, to exercise more. So for me, it's the cornerstone of my protocol, but it is a lot more all encompassing than just that. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, let me know if you saw Sanjay uh, this morning. I thought that was pretty fascinating. Talk to you soon.